So, we have the next set of questions coming for you, ok. And here is the question, how can you write 100, ok. The number 100 can be written as dash and your option says it is 10 tens and 0 ones. Second option says 1 tens and 10 ones. Your third option says 100 tens and 0 ones. And your fourth option says 1 tens and 100 ones. Ok. So, children basically it is a trick question. Ok. So, when you see this pattern of question do not get tensed. It is just that they are confusing us by writing the numbers before them. Ok. So, what do you mean by 10 tens? So, 10 tens is how much? So, 10 into 10 is how much? It is 100 and it says 0 ones. So, 0 into 1 is 0. So, what is my answer? It is 100, right? So, my option A is the right answer, which is 10 tens and 0 ones, ok. So, now we have got the answer for this question, but then to make it more clear for you, I will just explain you the other options as well. The second option says 1 10. So, how much is 1 into 10? It is 10. And then they say is 10 ones. So, 10 into 1 is how much? 10. So, if you add both what will come? It is 20, right? Which is not my answer. My third option says 100 tens. So, 100 into 10 becomes how much? It is 1000, right? And it says 0 ones which is 0. So, it is 1000 whereas the question asked is 100. So, option C is also not the right answer, ok. Coming to the last pattern, the last question, it is 1 tens and 100 ones, right. So, 1 into 10 is how much? It is 10 and 100 ones which is nothing but 100 into 1, it is 100. So, if you add, how much will it become? So, again this is not my right answer. So, did you understand children? It is just a tricky question. You no need to get tensed about it. Just you have to solve it and figure out the answer. Ok. So, make it more clear. I will just give you one more example. Ok. So, 330 can be written as dash, ok. And my answers are 3 tens and 3 ones. My second option is 3 tens and 30 ones, ok. My third option is 300 tens and 3 ones and my fourth option is 9 of these. Can we solve them? It says 3 tens and 3 ones, right? So, how will you calculate? It is 3 into 10, which is 30. And it says 3 ones, which is 3 into 1, which is 3. So, if you add, your answer should be 33. Is this the answer? No. So, option A is not my right answer. Ok. Coming to option B, it says 3 tens which is 3 into 10, 30, ok. And it says 30 ones. So, 
so which means 30 into 1 equals to 30 and if you add it becomes 60 so is this my right option no this is also not my right option coming to the third one it says 310 so 300 into 10 becomes 3000 and 3 ones 3 into 1 equals to 3 so my answer is 3003 which is again not my right answer so what will be my right answer my right answer will be option d which is none of these okay so is it clear children okay so now the next pattern of questions which we are going to do is the nearest tens and nearest hundreds okay so if you remember i told you that day when we write the number arrange the numbers according to their origin the numbers which is below 5 okay you will be writing the preceding 10 tens value and the numbers which is above 5 you will be writing at the succeeding tens value for example if i write 83 now my 83 is in this level it goes below 5 so my nearest tens should be 80 because i will be converting it into the preceding value now same thing if i write 87 okay now since my number falls in this category it goes above 5 so i will be rounding it off to the succeeding which is the next level so the round off number will be 90 okay children so shall we move to the next set of questions okay so here comes your next set of questions okay so now you need to tell me what is the nearest tens in 483 okay and your options are 80 490 500 470 okay so as i told you you have to see which number is it coming meaning is it coming before 5 or after 5 so when i write the number 483 so this number 3 is coming below the 5 digit number that is it is between 4 3 and 2 and 1 so which is my nearest tens children you got it correct it is option a which is 480 okay are you clear shall we do the next one yes so my next question says what is the nearest tens in 94 okay and my option is 90 100 80 and all of these so what do you think is your right answer what number is this it is 4 which is coming below 5 so my nearest tens will be 90 which is my option a clear okay so tell me the answer for this what is the nearest tens in 67 okay the nearest tens you have to see okay and your options are 60, 70, 80 
or 50. So what number you have to see? You have to see the number 7. Okay. And is it above 5 or below 5? Yes, 7. It is above 5. So you will be rounding it off to the succeeding tens. So what is the next succeeding tens after 67? Good, you got it correct. It is option B which is 70. So children are you familiar with the nearest tens and hundreds? Okay, I will give you few more questions to practice on the same topic. So children, now we are going to practice little bit sums on nearest tens and nearest ones and hundreds as well. Okay, so do you remember what I have taught you in your previous class? Yes. So whenever a number is 5 and below, okay, in fact you can say 4, 3, 2, 1, okay. When you have the numbers as 4, 3, 2 and 1, we will round it off to the preceding tens or hundreds. Okay, when your number ends with 4, 3, 2 and 1. But whenever your number ends with 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, we will be rounding off to the succeeding tens or hundreds. Okay, so based on this hint, we are going to solve our next few pattern of sums. Are you ready children? Okay. So here is your next pattern of questions. Okay. So now you are going to tell me the nearest tens. Find the nearest tens for the following. Okay. Okay, my first question is, you need to tell me the nearest 10 for 95 and my options are 90, 100, 80 and 110. Okay, so if you remember what did I say earlier, if my number is 5 and above, so which means that it will be converted to the succeeding tens value. Okay. So after 90, the next number which is nearing the tens value is 100. Right. Since it is greater than 5 and greater than 5, my option will be B, which is 100. Okay. So shall we do some more questions to make you this concept better? My next number is 82. And my options are 80, 90, 100 and 70. So following the rules, the number is 2 and it is less than 5. So I will be rounding it off to the preceding number. So what is the preceding number for 82? You got it correct, it's 80. So option A is my right answer. Clear children? Shall we do some more? Okay, here it goes. My next question is 68 and my options are 60, 70, 80 and 90. So what is the right answer tell me? First step is you have to check this number. So what is this number? Is it above 5 or below 5? Good. It is above 5. It is greater than 5. So it will be the succeeding 10. So which will be option B, 70. Good. I think you are able to pick up fast. My next number says 59. And my options are 50, 60, 70 and 80. So what is my nearest number? 9 which is greater than 5. So my answer should be succeeding the number which is nothing but 60. Okay. 
Your next question is 43. Okay. And the options are 40, 50, 60, and 70. So, what is the last digit number here? It is 3, right? So, which is less than 5. Very good. So, my nearest tense will be? Great. It is 40. Option A. You got it correct. Good. So the next one says 21. And my options are 10, 20, 30 and 40. So, what is my last digit number here? It is 1 which is less than 5. So, my nearest tens will be good. It is 20. Fine. So, are you clear with the nearest tens patterns? 